I want us to pray in Jesus' name. And as I always say, in JTV, we believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. And as Jesus taught us to pray, we are going to pray our Father. Amen. In Jesus' name, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thine kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Grant us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. I believe that today victory has visited us, has visited you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. And I, th th there is something powerful about the word of God. Praise God. When you pray with the word of God, it brings instant results. When you pray with the word of God, it reminds God that there is somebody who called unto me and I have to deliver what I am supposed to. Praise God. Because when David told uh, Bathsheba that Solomon was the one who was going to be king, the word of God says that Adonijah, one of the sons of David, he went and he coronated himself and he made himself king. But Nathan, praise God, went and spoke with, Bethsheba went and spoke with Nathan. And Nathan in turn went and spoke uh, to, 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 with David and told David that you had promised Bathsheba that you are going to make his son king. And when David was lying on his deathbed, he said that I am going to make him king because he had already do, done what he had already said it before. Amen. Therefore, the one who had installed himself, the Lord removed. Amen. Through the words of David saying that Solomon is king. Amen. And God is going to answer you when you pray with his word. Because even if whatever it is that has installed itself in your life, it doesn't matter if that sickness has installed itself in your life. And I said, I have to, I have to abide in this body. Because Jesus said by, your, by his stripes, according to Isaiah 53, that you are healed. We believe by, that by the stripes of Jesus that you are healed. Praise God. It doesn't matter what has installed itself like Adonijah and is claiming that it, it is going to take your family, take your marriage. But God has said, hey, Rebel City. You are blessed. Amen. God has said you are blessed in the city. That's Deuteronomy 28. So I want us to pray this morning. Pray with the word of God. And I feel that the Lord is going to restore you. The Lord has already restored you. The word of God in the book of Psalms 126. If you go to Psalms 126, it says, When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Praise God. When God is going to bring your, he is going to restore you back. After this coronavirus, after the, 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 the turmoil that you have gone through, whatever we have gone through as a nation, whatever we have gone through as families, whatever you have gone through individually, I feel that the Lord is going to restore unto you and it is going to be like a dream. Praise God. Say amen because that is going to happen. And I believe it has begun to happen for some people. Some people have seen it, seen it already. So I want you to know this morning, God is saying in Psalms 26, when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Praise God. So you're going to be like that when the, somebody who is dreaming asking yourself, is this me? Is this me who was jobless and I'm now seated in this office as a boss? Praise God. God is going to restore you and you're not going to smell like you are in that fire. You're not going to feel like you had even gone through that process because you're going to ask yourself, how am I in this place? How did I make it? Praise God. I love that song that, uh, that Sarah Kay sang called the, the, the song that we made it through. Praise God. God is going to make you to go through it. Amen. And you'll, you'll wonder, how did I make it? How did I, did I come through this? In Jesus' name, go before God with that Psalms 126, that when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter. Our, our tongues with songs of, of joy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nareth. This morning we are praising God. Go before God with songs of joy. Go before God and say thank you. If you have a merry song, give that song unto God like a praise and just tell God thank you. Since the beginning of this year, there are things that we can number and say God thank you for what you have done for us. That God has preserved us until this moment. We are going to say thank you unto Jehovah God. There are prayers that we have called Satan and Amar ushered unto God into the heavens and God has heard us. It's not that God has not heard. Hey, the Lord has already 
already answered and he's saying that it is going to be like a dream when he brings you out of that place of that place of captivity we say thank you unto God tell God thank you that you're coming out of that bed of affliction I have seen God heal people who thought Rebo Zikata they were going to perish I have seen God restore people Reke Tananama who thought they're going to close their business and never return back I thank God Rebo Zikata that is the same God that did it for those people he has done it for so many people I have seen God do things even in my life I have seen his restoration and I want to assure you this morning that the Lord is restoring things in the mighty name of Jesus that Psalms 126 is just not mere words but it is inspired by the spirit of God the Lord is restoring some people this morning the Lord is restoring and he's saying right now that you're going to be like someone who is dreaming oh Riban Tanama you'll pinch yourself and ask yourself is it really me I thank you Jehovah God for everything that you have done for the restoration that you are bringing oh God financial restoration oh God marital restoration oh mighty father politically in our land Jehovah God you are healing us oh God you are healing our land oh mighty father Jehovah God that you are becoming fruitful again oh mighty father we thank you God oh mighty father for the favor that has fallen upon us oh God thank you for victory Jehovah God thank you that the devil has been defeated scattered in seven different ways we bless your name oh God we glorify your holy name Jehovah and we say that there is none like you Alpha and Omega there is none like you beginning and the end reken nananama so pariyanta nanama lord we say thank you god almighty father Oh, even that word in the book of Psalms 126, it says what? Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Let it be said among the nations that the Lord has done great things for your family. Let it be said among the nations that the Lord has done great things for the nation of Kenya. Let it said, be said among the nations that the Lord has done great things for JTV. Let it be said among the nations that the Lord has done great things for you. Ah, Rebo, Satan, and Amas, even some to God says what? ask of me and I will make the nations your inheritors. God doesn't want you just to be, think locally. He wants you to think globally. God has great blessings for you. They are exceedingly, they are abundantly above all that you ask, think, or even imagine. Oh, we thank God. May people say, see what the Lord has done for that family. As the word of God says in Samson 26 verse 2, may they say God has done great things for your family. May they say God has done great things for your marriage. May they say God has done great things for your business. Oh, may they say God has done great things for your company. May the Lord reward Sitananama. May it be visible before men. May men see and say, Indeed, you have God. And may they give their life to God. Cut us your vote. A remand to the rebel is happening in your life. God, I see of the restoration that is happening. We say thank you, Jehovah God, the Lord Almighty Father, King of Kings, O God, that we are a testimony, O God. The Lord, when people see us, they will testify that God exists. They will testify, O Almighty Father, that miracles happen. A rebel Sikata. May the Lord heal you and restore you start from that sickness, that family member, so that people will say, indeed, this was the handiwork of God. We thank you, Jehovah God. The Lord, you are doing things, O mighty Redeemer. Your blueprint is everywhere in our land, Jehovah God. The one that has woken up to call unto you, Jehovah God. The Lord, indeed, Lord, you are going to prove unto you, unto her, O God, and to him, Jehovah God, Almighty Father, that they are calling unto you every single morning has not been in vain. That you have made it your duty to wake up at 3, at 2, at 12. You have made it your duty even to wake up this early morning the, and the morning. Oh, Riba Sekete to pray. You have been calling on God, whether Rebo Sikata, you have been giving unto God. You have been praising God. You have been faithful in your place of work. You have been faithful in church, in ministry, with your giftings and talents. You have been faithful unto God. God is going to come through for you. Is a God, Rebo Sikata and Amas Sekete Rebo, as uh, Psalm 26 verse 4 says, that he restores our fortunes. Oh, Lord, Riba like the streams of Negev. Rebet, Hananama, so Parian, Tananama. I'm telling you that the Lord is going to come through for you. That is going to come with blessings, gushing like the waters. I'm telling you that Rebo, Sikata, Tananama, they will be gushing like the waters. The Lord restores our fortunes like the streams of Negev. I'm telling you right now, God is blessing you, is bringing this blessing unto you. Every area, every direction, God is blessing you. Restoration is happening. Answered prayers are coming your way. 
breakthroughs, doors are opening, break antana na masekete, cases are broken in the mighty name of Jesus, victory is civit retama sekete, the Lord is reigning with favor, great things are happening this morning, great things are happening, and we are saying thank you Lord, thank you Lord for what is happening in our nation, in our government, oh God, upon our land, upon the political, oh my Father, so bandi keterebo zikatana na sector of this land of Kenya, Lord you are saying thank you God, what is happening upon our economy, thank you for the for the land, for our farms, oh God, what is happening in the agricultural industry, Lord we thank you for all our industries, Jehovah God Almighty Father, we thank you God Almighty Father, King of Kings, oh God, Lord Rebo sitana nama, for the ICT sector, Lord Jehovah God, we say thank you God, innovative ideas, oh God, content creators, the Lord is blessing people, innovative rebos, innovations that you have not seen before, God is great, am I raising great scientists in our land, God is making you right now, and that idea that you had is lifting you up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nare. The Lord is bringing you to a place whereby you will be seen, where you're going to be visible. Oh, you got in an ama. God is going to market your products. You have put in the effort. You have done everything. And God has said, it is time. Restoration is happening. Restoration is happening. You have sought for that child. Indeed, God is saying, I am coming through for you. Hey, Rebo, Exodus 23, 25 to 26. He say, I worship the Lord your God. And his blessing be upon our food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. None will miscarry or be barren in your land. I will give you a full lifespan. God is saying barrenness will be taken. Barrenness is being taken away. You have worked hard. You have done everything that you can. That due diligence, you have put it. I pray in Jesus' name. You are going to see it this morning. You are going to see it this day. You are going to see it in this month. You are going to see it the end of this year. You are going to come out with victory. At the end of this year, the word of God says in the book of Psalms 126 verse 5, those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. You have been sowing with tears. Oh, you rebel sikata. You have given some things, some sacrifices that even if you tell somebody you sacrifice this, they will think you are a foolish. You are a foolish person. You are a fool. Ah, but rebel sikata, but you have given unto God. You have given rebel sikata even your effort. You have loved with all your heart. You have loved your husband, your children. You have done everything you can even in your workplace. So you are the rebel sikata nanama to the best of your ability. And God is saying, those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. You have been like Hannah, crying unto God day and night, asking God for this thing, for this child. Uh, God has heard your prayer like Hannah, and God is delivering that answer this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I can feel victory in the air. I can feel there is a victory. Victory song. Break out to the song of victory and say, God, thank you. Wipe, wipe your tears. For God says you have been sowing in tears. Now you are going to reap with songs of joy. It is time for reaping. It is a season for reaping. It is a season to receive the answers to your prayers. God is saying those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheep with them. You have been going out weeping. Oh, But God is telling you if you are carrying a seed to sow, take this word. It is a seed that you can sow and tell God thank you. That rebo zikatanama that you are saying when the Lord restored the fortunes of Daniel. The Lord restored the fortune of me, Daniel. Or the Lord restored your fortune, say your name. And the Lord will restore the fortune of your family. When the Lord is going to restore the fortune of Kenya. Oh, Riman Tananama, we are going to be like those who dream. When the Lord is going to restore the, the fortune of our media house of JTV. Hey, rebo zikata will be like them that dream. I'm telling you the Lord is going to elevate you is going to promote you. He did it for Joseph one night. Oh, Riban Tananama. He slept as a prisoner. The next morning, he woke up as a rebel, Zika Tananama, as the second in command after Pharaoh. God can turn your life like that. He can turn around your life. Rebel Zikata. The story of the famine, Mr. Rebel Zikata Raba, in famine in, uh, in Samaria. Hey, Rebel Zikata. Elisha said, A time like this tomorrow, this is what they are going to sell this. Ah, uh, both Zika Tananama, Zekete. Whatever seemed that it was impossible, the same time, the next more, uh, the next day, it happened that Elisha had said, God is telling you right now, oh, it doesn't matter how the economy is. God is going to change our economy. God is going to change everything. It is time for God to restore back our economy to its state that it is supposed to be. God is going to make everything to be perfect the way it's supposed to be. And we believe that his word is here and amen. He never changes. When he says something, he's going to do it. He's going to accomplish. We glorify your name, Jehovah. We say thank you, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, ancient of days. 
you are the one, O oh God, who restores everything. Lord God Almighty, Father, the omnipotent, the omniscient, the omnipresent God that we serve, the Lord that never fails, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, is the King of kings, is the Alpha and the Omega, is Jehovah Rohi, the Lord who is our shepherd. He leads us beside the still waters. He restores our soul, leads us in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, he though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil for you, O Lord Jehovah God. Our refuge, you are our staff, Lord. You are our abosikatana, you are our guide, Almighty Redeemer. You are the lifter of our soul, Jehovah God. There is none like you, O God, Almighty Father. Hey, we lift our eyes unto him, O God, who is our help. Our help comes from him, who is the creator of heaven and earth. Elohim is his name, O Jehovah, this is his name. The Lord is a mighty man in battle. The Lord never fails. He's the God that abosikatana, who parted the Red Sea. He's the God that healed the blind man. Is the God that the restored the Shunamite woman after seven years? Oh, Korean Ananama is going to do it for you too. Is the God who restored back the strength of Samson after he had sinned? Borian Tananama Sekete is the Lord who sees you. You think that you are a sinner, you have been rejected and neglected by God because of your sin, but He died for you, He died because of you. And God is saying right now, He's restoring you. Oh, Masse Tananama, so Parian Tananama, in the mighty name of Jesus this morning. I'm prophesying to your life right now. I'm prophesying to families right now. I'm prophesying and saying in Jesus' name. Indeed it is going to be like a dream that the Lord is going to do that when he's going to restore everything in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go before God and say thank you Lord. Lord we say thank you this in an secret. You are an amazing God. You are a gracious God. You are a compassionate God. There is none like you O God Almighty Father. We say thank you Lord Almighty Father for the strength you have given us O God. Thank you for your might, O oh God, the spirit that works, O oh mighty Father, and quickens us, O oh God, O oh mighty Father. That was the body and turn on about you are working through us, O oh God. You are charging us to our destiny, O oh God, O oh mighty Father. We say thank you, Alpha and Omega. We bless your name, O oh God. We thank you, God, O oh mighty Father. We say there is none like you, O oh God. This morning, I just want you to go with thanksgiving because I can feel there is victory in the air. I can feel there is victory in the air. Don't be sad as you have said the word of God, as you have decreed the word of God in Psalms 126, that those who sow in tears, oh, riban, tadaraba, they are reaping with songs of joy. Yes, you are going to, when the Lord restores your fortune, leave away that one of Zion. God is saying yours. Hey, Rabba, take it. God is saying ours. Hey, man, take it. But what is ours if it is your ministry? Say God is restoring the fortune of your ministry. It is going to be like a dream. God is restoring it and prophesy unto yourself and say, thank you God that you are restoring me back, Almighty Father. I lost this job, but thank you because you are restoring me. My son died, but I thank you because you have restored me. God is giving you another child. After Abel died, the word of God says that another child was born called Seth and there was restoration. God is restoring you again. God is saying there is nothing that you have lost. Everything that you think you have lost. Romans 828 says what all things work together for good to them who rebels, for them who love God and are called according to his purpose. Everything has been working for your good. Everything has been working for your good. The devil is a liar. He only wants you to see the thing like it is not God. It's not God that it's not it's, it's like God doesn't want anything good to come your way. But the Lord is saying that was just a process you are going through. God is saying when you're going to come out of that process, you're going to be refined like gold, you are going to be glittering before men and men will say indeed God was with this person like they said concerning Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They were thrown into the fiery furnace and the king asked who is this other fourth man that I see? Ah, The Lord is going to make you glorious in that fire. Restoration is happening in Jesus' name. This day restoration is happening in the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you to over God, that you're restoring men, you're restoring people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I feel victory. If you can jump where you are, if you can do whatever you can by thanking God, say thank you, Jehovah God. If you feel like you feel like laughing before God, thank you, God. Let that joyous laughter be Our mouths, Psalm 26 says, What our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. 
Go before God with great appreciation and thank God and tell God thank you because I know there is victory. I am grabbing it and saying thank you because when you come with praise, I want to assure you. When you come with thanksgiving, the Lord is happy for that's how he wants you to enter his gates according to Psalms 100. And I believe that the things that you have been seeking are this morning. You are receiving them. Thank you, Lord. Their victory is happening. Thank you, Lord. There are great things that are happening. There are great those that have happened. Oh, they have opened, oh God, that no man can shut. Even Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 says that the door that the Lord has opened, no man can shut. No man will shut it. No one will shut it. The doors have opened. The doors have opened. I am telling you, the doors have opened. Say, God, thank you for this door have opened. It doesn't matter. You wanted to go to study where God is saying that door has opened. You wanted to start that business. God is saying that door has opened. You wanted to get into marriage. God is saying that door has opened. God is saying the victory has visited you. And we say thank you Jehovah God. We glorify your holy name. Dance before God and say God thank you. Thank you Lord for your answer. You have done it, Lord. You have done it, Jehovah. We say thank you. We say thank you, Lord. Oh, you have ashamed the devil. You have slapped him with disgrace. Oh, God, we glorify your holy name, Jehovah God. For indeed, you made a public spectacle of every principalities and powers of darkness. When you died at the cross of Calvary, we say thank you, Jehovah God, that we have the keys of David, as Revelation says. You are worried about Sikata as the church, as you as an individual, as a saint of God. You are victorious this morning. You are a royal priest. You are God's chosen one. I thank you, Lord God Almighty Father, for victory is our portion this morning. I say thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, God, for the prayer request that, Lord Jehovah God, that your children have been sending, oh God. They have been crying unto you. Lord, you have done it, oh God. Thank you for the expansion, oh God. We thank you, Lord Almighty Redeemer, oh God. There are many you are lifting like Mephibosheth. You are taking them out of Lodi by Jehovah God. Some who are born, Almighty oh Father, with conditions like Mephibosheth, that it is not even them, Almighty oh Father, themselves who put in the rebels, who caused it, O oh Jehovah God. We thank you, Lord Jehovah God. It doesn't matter what deformity you are born with. The Lord is going to make you be favored before man. He did it for Mephibosheth and he was lame on both feet. God is saying in the name of Jesus, it doesn't matter whatever thing you are lame on. The Lord is going to bring restoration unto you. It took the lepers to bring victory for the children of Israel. God can use anyone. So you are not you are not disabled because you serve an able God. God is going to lift you in the mighty name of Jesus. He's the God of the distress. For those are the men that David worked with. Those are the men that God lifted under David. Men who are in discontentment. The Lord is saying that you are the kind of person that is looking for. The Lord is doing great things. The Lord has done great miracles. And I can feel the victory. The spirit of the Lord. The Lord has stirred up the waters. Take it by rejoicing. Take it by rejoicing. I feel there is victory in the air. There is victory in the atmosphere. There is victory that has visited us. Something great has happened. I receive it on your behalf. The Lord is It is coming. It is flowing like the oil. It is flowing like the oil. Let it trickle down unto you through the screen. Receive it. Tap it. Something is going to happen. You will see it. The anointing of God that breaks you. The anointing of God that came upon David and he was made the king of Israel. That anointing that sets apart. Thank you Lord for that oil of joy. Thank you Lord for that oil. Just keep on thanking Jehovah God. Just keep on thanking our God. Just keep on thanking Jehovah. Hey, he has done great things. He has done great and mighty wonders. He has done great things in Jesus' name. 
I just want to prophesy into your life according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Amen. Take it, it is, it is, uh, the word of God says that you're going to be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Uh, in Jesus' name, I prophesy with the word of God in Deuteronomy 28 verse 2. You are going to be blessed in the city of Nairobi. Where are you? In the city of Kisumu. Where are you? Are you in Eldoret? Are you in Mombasa? Which city are you in? Whether it's a city in Kenya or a city in Africa or whichever part of the world. God is saying you will be blessed in that city and you'll be blessed in that country. Which nation are you in? Is it the nation of Kenya or the other nations of the world? I'm telling you, the Lord is saying you will be blessed in that country. The word of God says that Isaac sowed in the land in the time of famine and he reaped a hundredfold. What are you sowing? What business have you started? Is it a school that you have begun? God is saying in Jesus' name, we'll bring pupils unto you. The Lord is saying it doesn't matter what investment you have begun at this particular time of the year when the year is about to end, when you're about to wrap the year, God is saying, wrap up the year. God is saying in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nareth that you are going to be blessed in that workplace. You are going to be blessed in that marriage. You are seeking God that you want to get that child. God is saying you are going to get that son. You are going to get that daughter that you are looking for. You will get whatever it is that you want to birth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nareth. You will be blessed in the city. You will be blessed in the country in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nareth. Whichever county you are in the country of Kenya, God is saying you are going to be blessed in every 47 counties. God is saying you will be blessed wherever you are working. Is it your, the people in your family who are working there? God is saying they'll be blessed. They are there. The people of your, of your family who are in the nations, God is saying they will be blessed in those nations that they are in this morning. In the Rebo, Sikatananama, whatever it is you're going to do in the city, right now God is saying you will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessing is flowing unto you right now. Blessing is flowing upon our government. It's flowing upon our land. It is flowing upon many people. Many Rebo, Sikatananama, Thank you, Jehovah. The Lord is saying, What well, the fruit of your womb will be blessed. And the crops of your land and the young of your livestock. The crops of our land and the young of our livestock in the name of Jesus. The fruit of your womb. How many children do you have? God is saying, They will be blessed. The Lord says, that your children will be a fruitful vine. Amen. In the Rebo Sikatanama. That's the same in Psalms 127, I believe. God is going to make your children to become fruitful before you. God is going to make them to become like fruits that give you juice. That rekatanama that satisfy you with joy. so God is going to bless the fruit of your womb. Every child that you have, God says, rekete. That child that you say that this child rekantama as has made you to go through a lot of stress. God is saying that child is blessed. You have to start decreeing. And decree upon the Trome chapter 28 verse 4. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. Decree upon your womb if you are pregnant. Say the fruit of my womb is blessed. Decree upon your womb if you are not married yet, but you are prophesying that the man who is going to impregnate you is your husband and your, your womb is going to be blessed. Prophesy unto yourself. Before God says, before you are formed in your mother's womb, he knew you. So you don't have to have that thing before you. You, you don't have to have that husband so that you can start prophesying. God, before he created us, he knew us. Praise God. So before you have that thing, you can prophesy concerning that thing. Before you get into that school, prophesy concerning yourself self, a rebo, that you're going to be the head and not the tail. A rebo, sika, tada, nama, zikete. So prophesy unto your womb even if you don't have a husband. And if you are a man, prophesy unto your seed. Prophesy unto yourself. For the word of God says the fruit of your womb will be blessed. The fruit of your womb, I prophesy, will be blessed. God is taking away barrenness. If it is erectile dysfunction, anything, any issue, rebo, sika, tada, that is making you, that is making you not to be fertile. Infertility. We come against it in Jesus' mighty name. Low libido. We come against it in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever it is that the enemy has planted in your marriage that is making you know to be joyous right now. We declare and declare that thing. Oh, Zikatama, God is dealing with it in Jesus' name. And the word of God says, hey, Rebo, Zikatana, Nama, Zeket, your calves of your heart and the lambs of your flocks. Your calves will be blessed. Everything you have, your account will be blessed. The account that you have, hey, Rebo, Zikatama, the Lord is going to make your account to increase. The investments that you have, hey, Zeket, Zotana, Nama, that you're going, whether it is shares, bonds, or whatever it is that you're been investing in. God is telling you that he's going to bless everything that you have. If it is livestock, you will bless. If it is cars, you will bless. If it is houses, you will bless. Whatever you have in your house, God is going to bless. <coughs> 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. And the word of God says in the book of the Trome 28 verse 6, you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. When you're coming out of that, that house, God is telling you you're going to be blessed. When you're going to return back to your house, you're going to be blessed. You will be blessed all round. When you're coming out of that office, return zikata. When you're coming out wherever you're going to be coming out from, whether you're in town and you've gotten into a toilet and you get out, still you're going to be blessed. When you're coming out from that, that, that chicken inn, when you're coming out from that restaurant, God is going to bless you. When you get in, whatever thing you're going to be doing, if it's eating, it is eating, you're going to be eating. God is going to bless you while you're eating. When you're coming out of that bus, coming out of that car, you're going to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Everything that you do, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise against you will be defeated before you. That's in the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. That the enemies who rise against you, the Lord is said they will be defeated before you in Jesus' name. They will come at you from one direction but flee from you in seven. We prophesy that in the mighty name of Jesus. They will flee from you in seven different directions in Jesus' name. The enemy is always coming against us. But the Tommy chapter 28 verse 7 says that they are going to scatter in seven different directions. Let them scatter in Jesus' name. Let them scatter in Jesus' name. The enemy of our nation. The enemy of your family. The enemy of your life. The enemy of your rebels. Scatter your marriage. The enemy of your purpose. I pray in Jesus' name. Scatter in seven different ways in Jesus' name. And the Lord will send a blessing on your bands and on everything you put your hand to do. In Jesus' name, whatever it is that you put your hand to do. Psalms 1, I love Psalms 1, he says, The Lord is going to bless everything that you do, that you're going to be like a tree planted by streams of water. Whatever you do will be blessed. Whatever you do in Jesus' name. Saul was told when he was anointed by Saul, when Saul met him, he told him, whatever it is you're going to do, God is going to bless it. It doesn't matter what it is that you're going to do. God is saying, he's going to bless it in Jesus' name. I speak a blessing upon whatever it is that you want to start, whatever it is that you're going to do, it is going to be blessed. Only be careful that you walk in the light, you walk in righteousness, so that the Lord doesn't bless the wrong thing. Because you see, Hagar and, and, and Abraham they consummated. But you see, God wanted Abraham to be with Sarah. But they devised their own ideas and they brought Hagar. And you see, God had to bless the outcome, Ishmael. Praise God. As much as Ishmael was not in the plan. So be careful. Don't bless the wrong person. Don't fall into sin and make your blessing go with the wrong person. Do everything in accordance with the will of God. As you receive these blessings, let them find you in God. Let them find you in his will. Let them find you where the Lord wants you to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord will establish you as his holy people. As he promised you on earth, if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in obedience to him. That's verse 9. Therefore, you have to be, to, for God to establish you, you have to walk as a holy person. You have to walk as a holy person. Hebrews says that without holiness, it is impossible to see God. So we have to return to God with the holiness. There is a dimension of God for you to reach. You have to be holy. Praise God. Like in the holy of holies, the outer court, inner court and the holy of holies. For the holy of holies for you to have got, it, got, got to enter into the holy of holies, you have to be very very, you have to be pure. And God that God says that he's coming for a blameless and what? A blameless and spotless church. So for God to make you to become whatever it is that he wants you to be, you have to be holy. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity and be crying prosperity is coming. Jesus' name as verse 11 says in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground, in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouses of his bounty to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands in season. In season the Lord is sending rain and this is the season. As we read even in Psalms chapter 126, that when the Lord restores the fortunes of Zion, it will be like the we'll be like men who dream. We'll be like men and women who dream. I pray in Jesus' mighty name that right now in Jesus' name as the heavens are open, as the heavens are open, prepare. And Elijah told, Elijah, Elijah told, uh, told King Ahab that, that he was hearing the sound of the abundance of rain. And now 
now it was time for him to make it and to start to go. And Ab by faith believed and he began to go. And rain began to fall. It is that time. Even though Ab went ahead of Elijah, the word of God says that the spirit of God came upon Elijah and he became so quick and he was able to even come and supersede Rebo Zikata Ahab. God is saying there is a glory that is coming upon you, anointing that is coming upon you and overtaking anointing that you are going to overtake in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. That's verse 13. I prophesy there are many God that is God is making you the head and not the tail. Oh, Zikata Nanama so Pariyanta Nanama Eka Nanama Zikata Nanama Zikata Nanama You will always be at the top and never at the bottom. Ah, in Jesus' name, we will never be at the bottom. We will always be at the top. I prophesy concerning JTV that JTV is always going to be at the top, never at the bottom in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is lifting JTV. The Lord is lifting ministers of God even in this video house. The Lord is lifting the shows. The Lord is lifting the crew team that is behind the camera that are working tirelessly before God. The Lord is lifting us. We will never be the day in Jesus' name. The Lord is lifting the mighty servant of God, the founder of JTV Apostle Pamela P. The Lord is lifting the servants of God, the many people who come to this place and grace this media house. We pray in Jesus' name that the Lord is going to bless you too. The Lord is blessing you too. And he's saying you will not be the tail. You will not be the bottom. You are going to be always at the top. You are not going to be somebody who is down there. You are going to be somebody who is up there. You are going to be found in places where people are making decisions that are critical. The Lord is saying he's taking you out from the pit. He's lifting you like he lifted David. He's lifting you like he lifted Esther. He's lifting you like he lifted Joseph. He's lifting you like he lifted Ruth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is the lifter of man and is your lifter this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you Lord Almighty Father for what you have done. I give you glory and I give you all the honor. Thank you for your mighty servant Lord Jehovah God Apostle Pamela B. I speak a blessing upon her O oh God. Thank you that you are restoring her as the founder Lord. Restore her and all that Lord Jehovah God Almighty Father surrounding her O oh God. Restore her family. Restore Jehovah God those who are standing in that O oh God and Almighty Father supporting her O oh God. Restore this JTV. Restore the viewer O oh God. Restore every one of us, Almighty Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, that we will be like men who dreamed, Almighty Father, when we see what you have done, O God, Almighty Father, King of Kings, O God. We thank you, God, Almighty Father, that you are going, Almighty Father, to rejoice, O God. Thank you, God, Almighty Father. We give you glory and we give you all the honor. Thank you, Jesus. There is victory. I can feel victory. I can feel victory. Receive your victory this morning. Amen. Go to wherever you're going, knowing that the Lord has done it. Amen. I just want to declare and declare the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. Shalom. Remember that you are a winner and you have been restored. In Jesus' name we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Amen. JTV, your number one Christian channel.